Hey guys, dude here, and today, as you can see, I am playing some more Blocks Fruits in Roblox, and of course, I am joining in as a pirate, because pirates are just good in this game, so yes, I did leave off in this island the floating turtle that's a pretty funny name floating turtle that's crazy um and in between episodes of course as always i have grinded just a bit four thousand dollars that's pretty good as you can see on the bottom left where it displays all my stuff i guess you can say yeah um i have over 18 million dollars in this game i've literally reached over 18 million dollars in between episodes um, of course, oh, I am close to level 1,800, I'm level 1,798, um, and then of course health, 11,130, and then energy, 11,310 to be exact. These are my stats, not much has changed, I've just been putting more stats in melee, because I'm getting very close to maxing out both health and energy for me. So literally, I think the max is like 2,550. For stats, which is the game's current max level in general. It's pretty funny how that works. I don't know how that even works. That it's the same as the max level in the game. But that's whatever. Um, hopefully they do increase the max level for Blocks Roots soon. I'd say honestly like clearly by at least 50 more levels. But I'm not even level 2000 yet. So yeah, I'm not even close. To, I mean, I'm fairly close to max level. But you know, compared to other people, you know, not even close. Um, so yeah, I think... I have grinded here a bit, so I do kind of remember the entire layout of at least this part of the map or the island, because this island is pretty big, honestly. Looking at it, it's insanely huge, I have to say. Honestly, man, it's crazy. Um, and I think there are a lot of quests, because this is the only this is only the first quest giver, so I do quests over here. Um, I get these shark people. Actually, is that a sword? Oh, it's that sword. Okay, I was about to say. It is It is the shark sword, or whatever it's called. Um, I don't even know if I have it, and I don't even know where you unlock it. I really want it, um, because clearly I want to just collect every single item there is in the game. That That's basically the goal, other than reaching max level and having a lot of money. I have no idea what I can possibly spend the money on, other than rolling fruits. I always say this because I don't like rolling fruits. I mean, my Boodle Fruit, that's fully awakened right now. Even though I don't use its abilities, I only use it for, you know, the the combat or whatever. Even though my Water Kung Fu is already Mastery 600, which is max. Um, but that's whatever, I guess. I do really need to get a new fighting style, though. I do have to say. Oh, yeah, in last episode, I did turn on the, um, I think this is called Counter or something. I don't know why it's called that. I mean, all it does is just display a number. Um, I don't know, but it's pretty cool. It tells me how much damage I do. And I've noticed in between episodes that, well, clearly it's, it's common sense that this happens, but if you do upgrade your energy or your melee, it literally increases. The number literally increases, which is crazy. Or each time, like, you actually attack enemies, which of course makes sense because you do more damage. But that's pretty cool, honestly. It's nice to see. You can even see how much exactly you do, like how much damage more you do per upgrade for the stats. Um, but yeah, honestly, I have to say I'm getting very close to maxing out my health and energy. I think, honestly, I might max out my energy first just because that's also melee, so I do more damage, and I always use my melee. I literally, the only reason I have more mastery on these things is only because I do it for fun, just to have the mastery above zero. Or not zero, I think it starts off at mastery level one. So yeah, as long as the mastery is over one, I'm good, honestly, and then I'll just stop using the other weapons, all that stuff. But I'm very close. I think I might even level up twice. That's actually cool. I'm so close to level 1,800, and then I think it's only about, like, 700 levels left. 750, exactly, but um, to get to max level. So I'm, I'm literally getting there, I have to say. This was fun. Um, of course, I'm still not level 2,000. That's, like, the milestone I have to reach before even thinking that I'm close to level 2,550, which is currently the max level. But yeah, so five more Fishman Raiders, and then I can move on. Well, I, I don't really move on. I just go to these NPCs over here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, those are the level 1,800 ones that you can attack for a quest. So I don't really move that much. But they should give me a good amount of more XP and money per each quest. And in general, honestly, uh, each time I defeat them one by one, 
because as you can see on the top here, I do earn money and XP just from getting them, not even doing the entire quest, which is very cool. Uh, and that's where the money stacks up, that's why I have 18 million dollars in this game. Also because I don't really spend it much, compared to other people, I mean, some people just roll fruits every day, which is whatever, that's alright. But, not only that, my fruit storage, I mean, they're not all full, but I have a good amount of fruits, so rolling it, I'd most likely get a basic fruit of some sort, which I have four of them. I don't know how many basic fruits there are, but or common fruits, whatever. Um, but I have four already, so that's a lot. And of course, the max storage is one. I didn't buy any game passes in this game, and I'm not really planning on, because I don't really want to spend a Robux in this game. I want to play it fully free to play, you know, not spending a single Robux, staying true to the game. All right, let me see. Yeah, of course, it's the same spot, but I did it level 1,800. Let's go, honestly. Um, let me get this chest. It really does suck that you can't get... What is happening? What just happened with the game? What's wrong with Bloxfruits? That just glitched. That was crazy. Um, something happened. I'm not sure. But, yeah, it just sucks you can't get chests with the Buddha fruit on. Because right now, where is there another chest somewhere? You no, know there isn't. Bro, that sucks. This is such a huge island. I'd expect a chest. I'm pretty sure there's one over here, and it is a golden one. So, it is pretty cool, pretty nice. Um, and I'm pretty sure the shark people do a lot of damage to me if I don't have my Buddha fruit on because all I do is just use my Buddha fruit for enemies Yeah, 3,000 that's a good amount But then you know if I have my Buddha fruit, I can't even get the chest so it kind of sucks I think you should honestly be able to claim chests with the Buddha fruit on let me go uh, Where was the other chest? I don't know honestly It doesn't really matter, but it just sucks so much because like why would you just untransform to get a chest? Now, chests don't even give you that much money, at least in my opinion, with all this money that I have. And I actually, I actually have a good amount of fragments, I have to say. But, Fishman Captain, here it is. 75.5 million XP, that's like what? Yeah, 2.5 million XP, I thought so. That is crazy. $15,000 too, per quest. And then, of course, the $1,000 at least that I get just from defeating one of them. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, $1,000. There it is. It's insane, bro. I'm getting so good at this game. I honestly have to say, um, would I consider myself a professional? Not yet. Honestly, I think minimum level 2,000 in this game is required to even consider yourself a professional. So I still have like, what, 199 levels left to go, which is quite a bit. That's crazy. Oh, and if I look at the bottom left, these enemies do way more damage to me than the shark people. That is insane. They already got me less than halfway there to getting eliminated. While, while the shark people, they can't do anything. They still do damage, but not much. Yeah, these are crazy NPCs. I'm only one level above them, I'm pretty sure, right? They are level 1,800. Yeah, 1,800. That's how it works with the quests, but yeah, let's do this, I guess. I mean, four more left. I'll heal up a bit more, and um, how much damage do they actually do? Let me see. I mean, now I'm knocking them back, so they can't really get to me. Since I'm pretty sure they also use a melee weapon. Do they use a weapon? I'm not sure. I didn't pay attention. Let me actually check that. Do they use a melee weapon? It doesn't matter if they do or don't. Oh, they do. What is that? Yo, what is that? Is that, is that like a staff of some sort? It's like a piece of wood. <laughs> what is that? That's funny. It's some reddish piece of wood, it seems like. I don't know what that is, but it doesn't matter. They don't do a lot of damage to me as long as I knock them back, of course. Um... But yeah, I'm doing a lot of damage. Here it is. I should level up at least once. There it is. Level 1,800 and 2. Let's go. And then, of course, melee, as always. I do really want to get it to max. I think max is like 12,000 something. I mean, clearly, because I'm very close to 2,550, which is the max, as I said before. But this is crazy. And I think I might actually have to reset my uh, stats, not yet though, of course, because I, I didn't even max out one of them, so I, I think I'm good for now, it doesn't really matter, but later on in the future, clearly I will have to reset my stats, I'll probably put all of them in melee, defense, and block through, because sword and gun, come on, let's admit, it's not really that good unless you get like the best sword in the game, or like whatever the best sword in the game is, or like a very good sword in general, um, which is expensive or hard to get, but that's whatever. But yeah, look at this. There's literally a chest. Okay, I'm still, I'm literally myself. Like, here is my avatar. I didn't transform into, like, a T-Rex or a Kitsune fox, whatever. 
I'm literally still myself, but I'm just bigger with yellow legs. And of course, if I turn my aura on, I'm entirely yellow. Oh, that's so bright. I don't know. They really need to change this. Like they need to make it less bright in some way because that's just annoying. That's why I put my aura on not only to do more damage to enemies, but also so it's dark and I do more damage because like that's just crazy. It's so bright. The Buddha fruit is crazy good, but it's just like the white stuff, the white aura around you. I don't know if that's even an aura. What even is that supposed to be? I guess an aura. It's so bright. It's so annoying, but whatever. I think I'm honestly going to explore a bit of this island. I would like to find something cool. Um, let me see. This is like a cool fortress. What is this? Yo, it's like a whole city, I think. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. A little town. It's not really a city. But is there any shopkeeper or any NPC that I can actually interact with and actually do stuff with? Not, you know, some random NPC. Citizen. Okay, let us see. The forest pirates are destroying the town. Please help us. Well, I can't do that. They're probably a higher level than me. So not only would they eliminate me, even with my Buddha fruit on, because they probably do a lot of damage either way. But 50 of them, that's insane. Wait, what is this? Is this the... Oh, this is the mansion. Yeah, the trading room. Set home point. Nah, I'm good. But, it, yo, it's just my bounty posters. That's pretty funny. This is cool, though. This is such a big island. Floating turtle? Is it even a turtle? I don't even know. Where is the turtle? Or is the island a turtle? Something like that. I have no idea. Uh, but whatever. I think I'm going to end this video right here. I literally finally got to level 1,800. 1,802 to be exact. Um, and honestly, this island is so cool. And I'm getting so good at this game. As I said, I'm going to end this video right here. Bye. Subscribe and leave a like.